my Disney family. So today we are going to be talking about making changes in our My Disney Experience app or on the website. Um, our upcoming trip in April, our resort had to change. So our original plan, which you're going to see a link above to us making our reservation for our resort at Wilderness Lodge, is going to change. And the reason is just because of our family preference. Um, we love Wilderness Lodge, but it is under construction right now. Um, and at the at that time, um, none of the changes was going to affect our family. But a recent change did happen. The Geyser Point Bar and Grill just opened, which was great, and I'm so excited to try this new food location. However, Roaring Forks, which is their quick service location, did close. And we had planned on eating most of our breakfasts there because we are on the dining plan and a couple lunches at a resort because we do nap with our three-year-old. So because of this change, we decided to find somewhere else that maybe we haven't stayed at um, that was going to still accommodate what we needed. Um, Geyser Point Bar and Grill, I think, is a great addition to Wilderness Lodge. But when we get there, Roaring Forks is still going to be closed. and. The food choices at Geyser Point Bar and Grill are awesome for us, but for our three-year-old, just I don't think are gonna cut it from looking at the menu. Um, and just some things happen that is out of your control and sometimes it's just how it is. And so sometimes you have to make changes to your itinerary, to your fast passes, to your resort. And so I'm gonna show you today how easy it is um, we've already made this change. We are going to be staying at Fort Wilderness Campground and Cabins. And we're going to be staying in one of the cabins. It's actually going to give us more room. So I'm really excited about this change in resort. Um, it didn't really change our fast passes um, or our itinerary that much because we're still going to do the same parks. We're still near the Magic Kingdom, which was one of the reasons why we chose Fort Wilderness Campground and Cabins. Um, and we didn't have to really go up in price. We actually um, went down in price, but then we added on a golf cart. So it almost evened itself out by staying at Fort Wilderness, and we didn't really have to spend more money, which is great. We would love to stay at the Contemporary, the Grand Floridian, or the Polynesian one day, but the price for us just right now isn't, um, isn't, isn't an option. So... Um, I really think that us changing to Fort Wilderness is going to be um, a new adventure for us because we've never stayed at this resort or and we have never eaten at this resort. So we'll be able to check out Trails End, um, which is a table service buffet. We're going to also be checking out P&J's Southern Takeout, which is one of their quick service locations. They also have a meadow, uh, the Meadows Pool Bar, which is a good quick service location from what I've seen reviews um, and some just different options for our family as to being able to bring some food with us for breakfast because we will have a kitchenette now in the cabins. So these cabins are actually, um, I think for the price, they're a moderate, considered a moderate resort pricing, but you are getting um, a living area with a pull-out sofa. You're getting a kitchen, small kitchen area uh, a little bit of a dining table area. You're getting a bathroom and a bedroom that has a queen bed and two bunk beds. So I think that this change for us is gonna be really great with our three-year-old that does like to nap. So we'll be able to put him in a bunk bed for nap time or early bedtime. And then my husband and I will still have a place for us to hang out or you know get our showers done without there being any noise interruptions for our three-year-old that's trying to sleep. So um, I think this is actually gonna be a positive change and things like that happen. So today I'm gonna show you how to make some of those changes very easily in the My Disney Experience app. So check it out. So the first thing that you have to do is you need to log into your My Disney account, uh, go to the right tab, which is My Disney Experience, and click on the My Reservation and tickets tab um, next to the red heart. This will pop up your reservation for your resort, 
to your check-in and check-out date, your room type, all of those things. And if you click on the blue change reservation um, word next to the spring calendar, it gives you all the information about your resort, theme park tickets, memory maker, dining plan if you've chose one. And if you are 30 days, um, already past your 30 days, which we are, you'd have to call. So that's why it has us to call to make our changes. But if you are not, then you are able to click the My Changes um, button that would be there and you can make changes to your resort or any of the other topics below. Another thing that you need to think about is park hours. Park hours at Disney World can change. They can change even the day before. So you're going to want to click on more hours. This is going to bring up um, the dates. You're going to bring up the dates that you're going to be staying at Walt Disney World. And you're going to be wanting to look at the hours of the parks that you are wanting to go to and any extra magic hours um, that are possible for either morning extra magic hours or evening extra magic hours. So you're definitely going to want to see if changes have been made to that schedule. Also, Undercover Tourist has a great refurbishment and closing schedule, and it tells you all of those things that are going on, not only at the parks, but also the resorts, just to see if there's anything happening at the resort that you've chosen for your, for your stay. Um, also, any rides at the parks that might be closed because they're re getting refurbed during the time of your trip. So you can see here at Wilderness Lodge, um, one of the reasons why we are making this change is that Roaring Forks and the Trout Bass Pool Bar are closed. They should be opening back up in the summer of 2017. During this time, Geyser Point Bar and Grill is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and Territory Lounge is doing like a continental style breakfast. Um, but because this was gonna be a big part of our stay, this is one reason why we are changing to Fort Wilderness. So I hope you've enjoyed this kind of um, quick overview of how to make changes in your My Disney Experience app and why we have made changes to ours. You know, if eating at your resort isn't a big deal, then this change wouldn't really harm you at all. But since we had planned on that and we have a little one that likes to nap, um, this is kind of a big part of our day because we are planning to eat their lunch and breakfast for most days. But thanks for checking out, us out. Check out our Twitter, Instagram, and at mydisneyfamilyblog.wordpress.com. Have a great day.